Hi there. Today I wanted to share with you some basic uses of the by command, the group by command in Stata. So in order to do that, let's start by just loading a data set. I'm going to say sysuse auto. That's a built-in data set in Stata. And let's go ahead and describe those data so you can have a quick look at them. As you can see, we have data on 12 variables. It's a bunch of cars from 1978. We have uh, data like price, miles per gallon, headroom, etc. Um, so let's leap right in. I'm just going to enter a line of code here and then kind of walk you through it. I'm going to say by, and that's our command. And foreign is a variable, as you can see right over here. And then comma sort. And then after the colon here, I'm going to put sum price comma detail. And what this command does is it's going to bring up summary statistics for price, uh, detailed summary statistics, sorted by the foreign origin of the car. So once you enter that in, let's widen the screen here and show you what you get. Basically, you get different summary statistics for whether a car is domestic or whether it's foreign, which is pretty handy that one line of code can do all that for you. So just scrolling through here, you know, you can kind of see that there's going to be uh, different prices here. The mean price for a domestic car back then was just a little over 6,000, and a foreign car looks to be 63.84. Uh, we have standard deviations and all of that other good stuff for summary statistics. Now, let's say that you wanted to get information on more than one variable using that by command. And so whereas last time we just entered price, here I'm going to add MPG right after price. Notice there is no comma there in that code. And then just let's do enter again. And this time you'll see that Stata went back and it did price like it did before, but it also did mileage. So here we have domestic cars. We have price statistics followed by mileage. And then over here we went to foreign, once again, price and mileage. So it's really convenient to be able to break that up when you need to when you're doing descriptive statistics. Notice that you can do the same thing with inferential statistics too. Like here, for example, PW core is the Pearson correlation command in Stata, followed by the variables whose correlation you're testing and comma sig for the p-value. Now notice before all that, I just put the same thing by foreign comma sort colon. So what that's going to do, it's going to generate two different Pearson correlation coefficients and significance values for domestic cars and foreign cars in terms of the correlation of miles per gallon and weight. Not surprisingly, the heavier a car, the lower miles per gallon it gets. That's true for both domestic and foreign cars, but notice there's a little difference there in the magnitude of the correlation coefficient. Uh, finally, you can also use the by command for graphics. Here, though, you just have to kind of switch up how it works in the code. If you want to do a histogram of price, for example, you could type in hist price comma by foreign. And what you're going to get once data finishes running is two separate histograms of price, one for domestic cars and one for foreign cars. And it's going to look like this. So that's pretty handy. As you can see, uh, using buy in Stata is a great way of sort of subsetting the data on the fly when you need to do inferential statistics, uh, descriptive statistics, or even graphics.